So we'll kill this guy, we'll alert our boy over here, we come back and we hide, and once he's over there checking out the body of his friend, like the very detective-like zombie he is, we just sneak by and can keep going up. We outsmarted a zombie. I like how she is apparently ninja herself over here too, must be nice. How do I get those skills? Alright, we're checking out Delivery from the Pain, which a lot of you guys might be familiar with. We have played this on the channel before. When I did play this, however, the game was not complete just yet. It was still going through early access, but it has been completed since I last played it. And for those of you that wanted to play the game but didn't have access to a PC to play it, it's now available on mobile devices as well. I'm playing the PC version here, but it is available on your phone in case you want to play on it there, it's all good. And now that it's a complete product, I figure we're checking out for reals. Do we play more of it after this? I'm not sure, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Let me know in the comments, I'm leaving a thumbs up, but honestly, I just want to see how it's changed since I last played. So let's get to it. Samantha Aran, I guess she's... Oh wait, I just got it. Is that supposed to be like Samus Aran? From Metroid? I never pass up a chance to play with a waifu. Hello. I was attacked by zombies. A stranger appeared. Okay, that's already new completely. Before we would just wake up and we'd have to sneak out or out of like a hospital. I exhausted myself and lost consciousness suddenly. Oh thank god, you're awake. It's getting late. We must get out of here as soon as possible. Can we can I inquire as to what happened to your face? That seems like a terrible injury. How are you feeling now? Can you walk? Just barely walk. Thank you for helping me out. Let's talk later. We must leave now. The zombies will get mad after 18 o'clock. Then we can't survive. <laughs> what do you mean they're going to get mad after 18 o'clock? <laughs> Maybe they should take some anger management classes or something. Huh? Hurry up, follow me. Like apparently the zombies, like they, they look at their clock, right? It's like, oh, boys, it's 18 o'clock. You know what that means? It's time for all of us to get mad now. So we're out of the clinic already. Good. Let's go off to the shelters where I imagine we got to go. So already the prologue is different for a fact. This is a completely new character. Ah, we made it. Wait, is this your shelter? Such a crude shelter. Oh, you know, it's not the, it's the Ritz-Carlton, but it's something to keep me safe in the post-apocalypse. You're badly injured and your wound will surely worsen tonight. You must find medical supplies as soon as possible. You look hungry and sleepy now. I still have some dry food here. Take it, eat it now. Okay, now we're learning about inventory. Okay, so the prologue basically takes it the entire... How to play the game, huh? Well, I know I'm... I do remember how to play, but I'm not skipping this because of the story. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now go to bed and get some sleep. You're exhausted. Oh, you're not looking too good. Man, she took down quite a few of them. She, it's even the, the liquor dude. I remember that guy. You got badly injured. It seems like there's, there's a lot of zombies around. Fortunately, I'm still alive. I'm sorry. I'll go to the clinic and find some medical supplies. Okay. We have 5.5 hours to go. So, what I want to do right now is sneak up on our boy. This guy's got to go down, the zombie. It, I know, I'm aware he's dead. Stop. He's got to go down because he's not moving. So, whenever we sneak up and get that attack in there, it'll be fairly strong. Most of the time, depending on the type of zombie, we will do one-hit kills. But it can vary based on the weapon that we have and the type of zombie we're dealing with over here. The zombies could also hear noise, too. Keep that in mind. So, right now, as I'm rummaging through all this... They could probably hear and come check it out, so that's one of the things we want to keep mind of. Which is very important though, because you can you can use the sound to lure them out of their patrol and get them in a separate area for maybe an easier way to kill, so keep that in mind. Like this one's over here just patrolling near the wall. More than likely she will hear me. But you're in a room that honestly there's nothing in there, so I, I benefit nothing from you getting out of there. So for now we'll just continue. There's another search area right there, and there's a walking zombie through here. I think what I want to do is get rid of this boy here first. He's uh, a lot more dangerous of a threat. That wasn't a one-hit kill, but luckily the follow-up attack was enough for that. So normally how it will happen is if you don't kill him, they will turn around. And you might get a second attack and hopefully it's enough to kill him. If not, you start exchanging blows or whatever. We got some food and a code. The code's not equipment, it's basically we're just going to tear it down for... Um, supplies like clothes and stuff for other building stuff down the line. Alright. And the guy with the blue that we just killed, that's basically a Naruto... I, I call him, I believe that's the one that I used to call Naruto Zombie, because he basically ran like a freaking Naruto character. Um, he can cause you to bleed if I'm correct. 
um, decompose. So here's what I want to do now. You saw what we had there. This over here, this could be decomposed for wood. And it'll stack over here and make some more room for us. So now that we destroy that bucket into actual iron, we can now pick that up. So whenever you have different items, make sure if you have something you could decompose and just kind of stack up in your original existing thing, it'll give you a lot more chance to kind of loot that way. And if you know me, I'm all about that loot, so that's the reason we're on top of it here. Um, these are all supplies I actually needed. Got it. I can manage my wound now. I leave the rest for to Samzara. Okay. So now we have the ones for our injuries, which is great. So we need that. We have everything over here. The problem is we're about to use the painkiller, which I think we also need one for Samzara, so we probably have to keep looking more than likely, right? I feel better now. I still need one bottle. Yep. Of antibiotics so I can go home and heal Morgan. So we're not done yet. Did she say to heal Morgan? Is that what I read? She said Morgan, right? I think Morgan's a character in the game. <laughs> so I think that's um, uh, a grammar issue, but just like an error in the game. I believe Morgan was the guy... Like the... Uh, 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 I think Morgan was the guy who... runs the northern part of the city, or at least he did when I played this game whenever I played it. It's been a while since. But I'm pretty sure I read Morgan. Okay. Just uh, click on you there. Don't turn around. You apparently go all the way over there. Get the kill. Good. So the zombies do have a certain time where they get spot you. As you saw that I was momentarily spotted, but I rushed down so we were fine. This is like the dumber ones. I believe the more advanced zombies will actually check it out quicker and go to where they last saw you. So for these, ooh. You're very, very quick. I wasn't expecting to see you this early. This worries me significantly. What's your patrol like? I don't think we'll get there in time. Oh, thank God we did. Don't, don't you dare. This is another zombie that causes bleeding if I'm correct too. So luckily, got the kill in there before. Cause any issues? This seems to be the last thing here. If not, we'd have to go to that room that we skipped earlier. Okay, antibiotics. Perfect. We got everything we need, I think. It's time to go back. Perfect. Don't tell me this character's gonna be dead too when we get here. That would be pretty terrible. Now there she is. Ah, she's still alive. You're back, finally. What do you mean, finally? I came here back like in two hours. You gave me like 5.5. Let's send to your woods right away. Hopefully it's not too late. How are you feeling? <laughs> you shake her hand at me? She gave me the no, no, no. Better. At least I can walk now. Thank you. You're welcome. There is something I must tell you. I just received a message from headquarters. They're not sending anyone here to help us. So what do we do now? Don't be discouraged. They gave me coordinates. Yep, that's what we want to aim for. All the way up there, which might be safety. I don't know. If we can go to that place, headquarters will send someone to help us out. But it's so far away. We gotta find a car. We need to find the car. I know, so we must prepare for a long, hard fight. I put all the materials I collected before in the storage box. Those are our initial resources. We'll have to use them wisely. Yo, we got a friend to go out with. All right, so I, I guess we're good. Other, I need a little bit of shut eye. We're, we're doing fairly fine. So this is going to work with a friend. You going to talk to me? No? All right. Well, I guess so. Oh, now you are. Hey, look at that zombie. That zombie. Oh, he is really a tough one. He stays still, so I have to fight this one face to face. Nice, it's time to show you the real skill. Let me guess, you're gonna show me about lowering the moid sound? Yes. The moment I saw this next to it, I was kinda like, yeah, I think I know what they're gonna teach me. When the yeah, the zombie hide there. I mean you gotta make sure you're like behind something though, because they can't actually visually see you, which is kinda cool. Okay, cool. That's fine. I mean, they, they, the games does a pretty good job. If you're like a first time player, you've never played anything like this, and like, you know, it's it's done a fairly good job of like teaching you. Now we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, you survived the second hit. Surprising. Do I perform perfectly? <laughs> Just so so. There's a big guy over there waiting for you. That guy's a um, fairly angry dude. Another tough guy. Won't you give me a hand? You need real combat experience. Oh, thanks a lot. 
You know what happens if I fail, Samzara? Do you understand? This is not like, you know, letting me learn how to, like, add 2 plus 2 together. And if I make an error, you tell me I made an error and go back and, you know, try it again. Here, in this situation with the zombie, if I'm to fail, I get killed. <laughs> there is no second chance. You're telling me, oh, try it yourself. Alright, let's go ahead and now we, could, we have a baseball bat too. Just lure him with sound. He's heard it. He's a faster boy. Ideally speaking, he shouldn't spawn me behind this wall. Ideally speaking. And ideally, I would be correct. Oh yeah, he's got a lot more HP. That's fine. But this big and stupid monster is hard to deal with. This kind of zombie seems to have a better defense, so it would be better not to fight against it without a powerful weapon. Alright, let's move on. So, ideally speaking, I guess we could have... I, what is it we mean saying ideally now? Uh, technically... <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, consult the thesaurus. Ideally, I've used it too much, what can I use now? Theoretically? Theoretically. Technically? Technically. There it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we should have probably used the baseball bat on him. Because he is stronger. But you know what, I got this... I want to just use up the dagger and destroy it before it's all good to go. I guess it's in the elevator, right? Yeah. So we can do under here. Samzera does actually have her own HP. I just noticed that right now. Wait. What? I think you can kill that zombie first. Why? It doesn't seem like a threat to us. You told me not to waste my time and energy on unnecessary battles. But that strong zombie on their side is a real threat to us. It's true that zombies are tough to deal with because they're tough and fat. <laughs> he doesn't look—he doesn't look fat at all. He looks actually fairly in shape. Look at those arms. So go and attack the weak one. The son of the fight will. So it's more luring technique. So we essentially want to skip the fight with the quote-unquote fat zombie. So we'll kill this guy. We'll alert our boy over here. We come back and we hide. And once he's over there checking out the body of his friend. Like the very detective-like zombie he is, we just sneak by and can keep going up. We are super resilient and smart, look at that. We outsmarted a zombie. I like how she is apparently ninja herself over here too, must be nice. How do I get those skills? When did you get here? As I said, you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me, it's something called plot arm. I just have it. Don't gotta worry about it. I have another Zamboni over there. Uh, more than likely, we'll also lure him. I don't think he should be able to hear this one. He should be able to hear that one, and we'll use that one to get through. Maybe hide back over here, let him go through, and we'll do our thing. Might have to destroy some supplies here pretty soon. So here's what we do. We alert this big bumbling guy. Oh, there's another zombie on the other side over there, too. You know what? I might want to kill this guy because of the other dude over there. We have the Naruto zombie over there. So, let's go ahead and try the big baseball bat on this dude here. Um, okay. Um... Samzara? I technically... Samzara? Thank you? <laughs> I guess for helping me out. I was gonna ambush him with the zombie, but with the bat, but... Cool. Alright, so this seems to be the last little location over here with that Naruto running zombie. It seems like we might be able to skip them all together. Or not? No, I think he'll probably spot me, huh? Oh, he seems to be stuck over there. Yeah, we might be able to get through. Unless um, some Zara over there just standing like nobody's business draws him over. Got some alcohol. Alright, we've gone through everything. Well, our cooperation was quite successful. You have mastered these, t these skills, and you should be able to survive even when you're alone. Because I made a good teacher, thank you for survival training, I... What's wrong with you? I feel, I feels, I feels very dizzy. Right in the feels. What happened? I can't die here. It's getting late. I must go back to my shelter as soon as possible. I don't want to die here. She was fighting with zombies for me. Again. Oh, she's not going to make it this time, it doesn't seem, huh? Oh, thank goodness, you're awake. Now get out of here, or we... I would take you out of here. I can't. Hold it. Go now. Zombies are coming, I'm out of bullets. But, go now! Get out of here, run! 
Never turn back. Run, Forrest. You will make it. I believe in you. Oh, it's a screamer. I know you all too well. I'm sorry. Well, so much for having a friend. But she taught me everything I needed to know. And because it's dawn, we're taking damage in a run bag. That's why it's dangerous to be out here at nighttime. No, I have to hang tough and keep going. I can't let her dead be for nothing. Build a fence first and rest. There will be more crisis in the days ahead. That's something to look forward to now, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, there you guys have it. If you want to see a bit more, let me know in the comments. We might come back and check it out a bit more. Obviously, there's a lot of new things that we haven't covered just yet, but at least the prologue is completely different. It was pretty cool. Um, you know, the gameplay is fine. It's just the translation is a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit off, but it's kind of comical at the same time. I feels dizzy. I feels like I will catch you next time.